probably aren't thinking a lot about retiring because you're in your mid-20s, retiring seems a really long way off. Obviously, everybody should be planning. Can you give any advice for younger people about realistic goals and what they should be doing now so that they don't have to work till they die? Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting question, Aaron, because like you say, so many young people, you know, are having trouble getting their first job. Right. So the idea of ever being in a position where you know, they don't have to work anymore, it's like, you know, I, I want to start my career. I don't want to think about ending my career. It's such a huge monumental thing that the earlier you start, the better. Because mm -hmm. it's so easy. When, when you have time on your side, it gives everything a better chance to grow. Even if you can only put a little bit aside, just the tiniest amounts, it can make a huge difference down the road on how prepared you are and what kind of retirement lifestyle you end up having. So where do you think young people should start saving? Where should they start putting their money for retirement? You know, a good first place to start, if you have a job mm -hmm. and if your employer offers what's called a 401k plan, that's often the best and easiest way to get started. With a 401k, they'll actually take the money straight out of your paycheck. So you can tell them exactly so like how much you, you want. You won't even miss it. <laughs> You'll never even see it. You, you never even realize that it was there. Uh -huh. um, but you have total flexibility in telling them you want such and such amount taken out of each paycheck. Um, they will then invest it according to the options that you choose. You mm -hmm. have the choice among whatever investments your particular employer offers. And a lot of the time, and one reason why I recommend this, a lot of employers actually will add some money of their own to the money that you contribute. An employer match. An employer matching contribution that helps you get closer to retirement faster so that you know it's, it's basically free money right and so you know if why you would can, you leave it if you can yeah. if you can possibly afford to take advantage of that then it's a no-brainer right are there other options for young investors if let's say their company doesn't offer a 401k you bet another good choice for saving for retirement is called an ira and basically what that does is it lets you open an account that basically gives you a chance to invest pretty much however you want um, in order to, outside of an employer plan, mm -hmm. so that you can have total flexibility about what you want to put in. And there are actually a lot of choices that let you start with really small amounts of money. So you know, if you only have $50 every three months, mm -hmm. if you can get that much together, then some places will let you open an account and basically do an automatic withdrawal from your bank account every month or every three months um, to let you get started with that. One of the benefits of doing an IRA is that it actually can help you on your taxes. Just like a 401k, the money that you take and you put into an IRA, mm -hmm. uh, if you choose a, a particular kind of IRA called a traditional IRA, is uh, you're able to write that off against your income on your tax return. So basically it makes your tax refund bigger if you put money aside for Everybody retirement. likes a bigger tax refund. You got that right. But at the end of the IRA, do the, do, do the taxes get pulled out then? They do. They After do. you okay. retire, when, you're, when it's time to withdraw money from mm -hmm. a 401k or an IRA, then the money is basically payback time as far as the right. IRS is concerned. They gave you the deduction up front, so they want their money now mm -hmm. when you retire. But all through that period, you know, for, for 30, 40, 50 years, between the time it grows and the IRS never gets to touch it. Is there a particular time, like, can you retire at 30? <laughs> Hypothetically, you had enough saved? The rules, there are actually some pretty complicated rules as far okay. as IRAs are concerned. For the most part, the idea is that if you put money into a retirement account, it stays there. Whether it's a 401k or mm -hmm. an IRA, that the IRS thinks that most people are going to be working until they are age, uh, it's funky, the, the actual age is, is 59 and a half. 59 and a half. When you can start taking money out uh -huh. uh, without having to pay a penalty to the IRS. If something comes up in the interim, if some financial emergency comes mm -hmm. up and you need to take money out of your retirement account, IRS doesn't like that. They say, hey, this is a retirement account. You can't just use it 
for whatever. You can't go buy a boat. You can't just go buy a boat. <laughs> We're going to hit you with a 10% penalty. Plus, wow. you then have to pay the taxes on the money you take out too. So it's best to think of your IRA and your 401k and your other retirement savings as things you do not touch until you actually are retiring. That's right. Where did you say you could open an IRA? Pretty much any bank, any bank. will let you do an IRA that has bank products. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much a lot of companies that offer mutual funds, which are investments that basically give you a wide diversified mm -hmm. variety of either stocks or bonds or other kinds of things. Um, the companies that run those funds will let you do IRAs. Um, and then uh, brokers that let you buy individual stocks mm -hmm. uh, will also let you open IRAs. A 401k, on the other hand, always runs through your employer. Right. And so if you do that, you're going to want to talk to the HR staff at your company. Let's say I have a 401k at my job. Uh -huh. um, probably in, you know, in today's economy, I'm not going to work there for 35 years. I'm not going to work there until I retire. You bet. If I leave my job, what, what happens to my 401k? You have two choices. You can either leave it with the employer that you have, or you can take it out and either transfer it to your next job, mm -hmm. and if they have a 401k, or you can actually open up what's called a rollover IRA at one of those banks or brokerage companies or mutual fund companies that I was just talking about. It still stays a retirement account, right. so it doesn't trigger any of those bad things that any happen. Of the, right, the penalties and the taxes. You just have to be careful when you move it that you never physically get a check. That's a what, bad sign. <laughs> what usually happens, what should happen is that the money should go straight from your job to whatever the company is that you set up the, you know, either the new 401k or right. an IRA account. If you do that, you'll never see the money. It just, you'll just see the statements that so show that it moved. A smooth transition, basically. You got it. Is there, is there any reason you would leave it behind? Because you said you could just leave it and that, that doesn't sound, doesn't seem like a good idea. You know, if your new company had, you know, a bad 401k, but your old employer actually had a good one, mm -hmm. then there might be a situation where it would make sense to leave it there. Uh, just it, because does it they like had a good deal. Does it expire or does it just stay in perpetuity? Can it you keep adding money to it? It, it doesn't, ex you can't, I, no, you wouldn't be able to add okay. new money to it. But, uh, but no, it would stick around until it was time for you to retire. And then the plan says, you know, the plan kind of dictates what you need to do in order to get that money out. Oh, I didn't realize that, that you could just let it hang out at your old company. It's a choice. And right. I mean, a lot of people do it without thinking about it. Usually what I'd recommend is moving it out. And if your new, if your new jobs 401k isn't that good, moving it to an IRA. Because IRA. with an IRA, you have total flexibility. Right. Any 401k is going to have limited investment options, but with an IRA, you can pick whatever investment pretty much that you want to make. Oh, that's right, because 401ks, they give you a basket to choose from. Whereas, you have to make like, a choice, yeah. Right, whereas the IRA, you can pick whatever you want. Whatever company you're most comfortable with, whatever ones uh, you know charge the lowest mm -hmm. costs, uh, you can pick them. It was really great to learn more about 401ks and other retirement options for younger investors. Thank you, Dan. You bet.